Dean, what is it? I'm sorry. You... For what? The way I've been acting. And for Dad. He was your dad, too. It's my fault that he's gone. What are you talking about? I know you've been thinking it, so have I. Didn't take a genius to figure it out. I'm back at the hospital. In a full recovery. It was a miracle. And five minutes later, Dad's dead and the cult's gone. Dean. You can't tell me there's not a connection there. I don't know how the demon was involved. I don't know how the whole thing went down exactly. But Dad's dead because of me. And, and that much I do know. We don't know that. Not for sure. Sam. You and Dad... the most important people in my life. And now... I never should have come back, Sam. It wasn't natural. And now look what's come of it. I was dead. And I should have stayed dead. You wanted to know how I was feeling. Well, that's it. So tell me. What could you possibly say to make that all right? saved everyone Sammy and I saved. They're all dead. And there's this woman that's haunting me. I don't know why. I don't know what the connection is. Not yet, anyway. It's like my old life is, is coming after me or something, you know, like, like it doesn't want me to be happy. Of course, I know what you'd say. Well, not that you that played softball, but uh, so go hunt the gin. It put you here, it can put you back. Now, your happiness for all those people's lives, no contest, right? But why? And why is it my job to save these people? Why do I have to be some kind of hero? What about us, huh? When mom's not supposed to live her life, Sammy's not supposed to get married. Why do we have to sacrifice everything, Dad? Couldn't have been more than five. You just started asking questions. How come we didn't have a mob? Why do we always have to move around? Where'd Dad go? Take off for days at a time. I remember I begged you to quit asking, Sammy. Man, you don't want to know. I just wanted you to be a kid. Just for a little while longer. I always tried to protect you. 
Keep you safe. Dad didn't even have to tell me. This is always my responsibility, you know? It's like I had one job. I had one job. And I screwed it up. I blew it. And for that, I'm sorry. I guess that's what I do. You know, I let down the people I love. You know, I let Dad down. And now I guess I'm just supposed to let you down, too? How can I? How am I supposed to live with that? What am I supposed to do? Save me. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? You stupid ass. What did you do? What did you do? You made a deal for Sam, didn't you? How long did they give you, Bobby? How long? One year. Damn it, Dean. Which is why we gotta find this yellow white son of a bitch. That's why I'm gonna kill him myself. I mean, I got nothing to lose now, right? I could throttle you! What would send me downstairs ahead of schedule? What is it with you Winchesters, huh? You, your dad, you both just itching to throw yourselves down the pit. That's my point. Dad brought me back, Bobby. I'm not even supposed to be here. At least this way, something good could come out of it, you know? It's like my life can mean something. What? And it didn't before? Have you got that low an opinion of yourself? Are you not screwed in the head? Let him die, Bobby. I couldn't. He's my brother. How's your brother gonna feel when he knows you're going to hell? How'd you feel when you knew your dad went for you? You can't tell him. You take a shot at me, whatever you gotta do, but please don't tell him. You can't lie to me. I know the truth. I know how dead you are inside. How worthless you feel. I know how you look into a mirror and hate what you see. I mean, after all, you got nothing outside of Sam. You are nothing. You're as mindless and obedient as an attack dog. That's not true. No. What are the things that you want? What are the things that you dream? I mean, your car? That's dad's. Your favorite leather jacket? Dad's. Your music? Dad's. Do you even have an original thought? No. No, all there is is watch out for Sammy. Look after your little brother, boy. You can still hear your dad's voice in your head, can't you? Clear as a bell. Just shut up. All he ever did was train you. Boss you around. And Sam, Sam he doted on, Sam he loved, I made it, I'm getting angry, dad knew who you really were, good soldier and nothing else, daddy's blunt little instrument, your own father didn't care whether you lived or died, why should you, son of a bitch, my father was an obsessed bastard, All that crap he dumped on me about protecting Sam, that was his crap. He's the one who couldn't protect his family. He... 
He's the one who let mom die. Who wasn't there for Sam? I always was. He wasn't fair. I didn't deserve what he put on me. And I don't deserve to go to hell. <laughs> Escape me, Dean. You're gonna die. And this, this is what you're gonna become. You know, the worst thing I can think of, the very worst thing, is for my children to be raised into this like I was. Well, I won't let it happen. Yeah. Hey. You okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. Hey, uh, Mary. Can I tell you something? Sure. Even if this sounds really weird, will you promise me that you will remember? <laughs> okay. On November 2nd, 1983, Don't get out of bed. No matter what you hear or what you see. Promise me you won't get out of bed. Okay. It wasn't four months, you know. It was four months up here, but down there, I don't know, time's different. It was more like 40 years. They sliced and carved and tore at me in ways that you. Until there was nothing left. And then suddenly, I would be whole again, like magic. Just so they could start in all over. And Alistair, at the end of every day, everyone, he would come over and he would make me an offer to take me off the rack if I put souls on. If I started the torture. And every day I told him to stick it where the sun shines. For 30 years I told him. But then I couldn't do it anymore, Sammy. I couldn't. But I got off that rack. God help me, I got right off it. And I started ripping them apart. I lost count of how many souls. The, th the things that I did to them. It's longer than anyone would have. How I feel. This. Inside me. I wish I couldn't feel anything, Sammy. I wish I couldn't feel a damn thing. Are 
be all right. No thanks to you. You need to be more careful. You need to learn how to manage a damn devil's trap. That's not what I mean. Uriel is dead. Is it the demons? It's disobedience. He was working against us. Is it true that I break the first seal? Did I start all this? Yes. And we fought our way to get to you before you... So started the apocalypse. And we were too late. Why didn't you just leave me there then? It's not blame that falls on you, Dean. It's fate. The righteous man who begins it is the only one who can finish it. I can't do it, Cass. It's too big. Alistair was right. I'm not all here. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not strong enough. Well, I guess I'm not the man either of our dads wanted me to be. Find someone else. It's not me. some help. for a minute and I just wanted to say that I'm sorry I'm real happy you two are both okay and uh Bob I'm glad your life can get back to normal now we're okay so so that's what's important right Anyway, uh, at least 
leave you two alone. Take care of your mom. You know, you have pulled some shady crap before, but this... Whitewashing their memories? Take it from somebody who knows. You ever mention Lisa or Ben to me again, I will break your nose. Dean, I'm not kidding. 